In addition to women's uh, uh, age, there are a number of uh, assays that can help us determine how many eggs she has left. So the follicle stimulating hormone level on day two, three, or four, uh, the inhibit level, antihumularian hormone, or AMH, or all est uh, estimates of the number of eggs that she has. Uh, getting at the issue of the quality of the eggs that she has it is much more difficult, but we, we can get an idea uh, when she goes through in vitro fertilization. Because at that point we take the eggs out, we fertilize them, let them grow in the test tube, and see how they develop. Now eggs are, are, are uh, all pretty good looking. Like their eggs are like babies, they're all cute. It, it's much more important to assess uh, how they grow, how they develop, how they divide. Uh, there are a few egg assays. Uh, we help develop a microscope that can look inside the egg, a spindle, about 500 IVF laboratories across the world now use a special microscope to peer inside the egg to look at the spindle, the little threads that tether the chromosomes. Um, but much more widely uh, uh, practiced is the assessment of embryo quality, which is largely reflective of egg quality. The uh, egg drives the embryo's development for the first three days almost exclusively. And after that, it plays a very large role in how the embryo develops, uh, including to the fifth day, the stage we call the blastocyst stage. So, so the rate of division, uh, the ability of the eggs to remain, the embryos uh, and the embryo cells to remain intact and not to fragment, uh, and then uh, the symmetry of the cells, uh, uh, the overall health of the cells, gives us a rough idea of uh, embryo quality, which is the best assessor of egg quality.